Hello. Hello, hello, hello. How doest thou? The Bosque. I heard there was butts. Uh, yeah, there's butts. Um, hold on. They're somewhere in here. They're, uh, here? Nope, that's not it. Oh, yeah, there they are. I'll get out of the way for a moment. To be nice. But for now, you'll have to settle for this. Polly Shore is God. Guys, don't you Here? know that no. Polly Shore is God? Oh, yeah. He's so amazing. I'll get out of the way for a moment. To be nice. He's amazing. His name is Polly Shore. He's but amazing like you never for seen now you'll have to before. For this. So fucking wonderful. He's Polly Shore. Get him. Polly Shore is God. Guys, don't you Here? know that Polly Shore oh, is God? Dublin back. He's Mute that shit. TJ, a bunch of us from DFF commented on the Who is Polly Shore video. Oh, you did? <laughs> I gotta check that out. Let's see. Who is Polly Shore? Let's see what people are saying. Oops. Did a Google search instead of a YouTube search. That's no good. Let's see what we got here. Sort by newest. <laughs> okay, screen capture this shit. Alright, I'm gonna have to replace you guys with this for a second. <clears throat> this is sad. Why don't you just retire? Aw. Being so mean to poor Polly. Polly Shore is not funny. Polly Shore is not funny. It's extreme amounts of Polly Shore not being funny. 21 Andy Dix, not bad. You look like an even more coked out Tom DeLonge. I don't know who Tom DeLonge is. <laughs> this same guy just also said, you suck. <laughs> Instead of subjecting my family to your movies, I'll just bury them alive instead. <laughs> That's getting a thumbs up, dude. Oh, what? I can't give thumbs up? Okay, there we go. That's better. Nice bandana, brah. Cancer. This is fucking pathetic. Deep, fat, fried. Gotta give that a thumbs up. Glanderson Booper. Glanderson Booper coming at your pooper, bitch. Glanderson Booper. Polly, your movies truly suck. This is the saddest thing ever. You were never funny. You deserve multiple dicks. I'd rather shell shove 12 bananas up my ass instead of watching your shitty stand-up in movies. No children should ever be subjected to the abuse you suggest. Also, go on the Deep Fat Fried podcast. I'm Ted Cruz, and I approve this message. Check out Deep Fat Fried. They made a show about you. Bruh grew up on your films, and I'm 21. That's how awesome you are. I'm 20s and a huge fan. Okay, so we're getting back to, like, <laughs> people who actually like him now. That's neat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I feel so bad. Oh, Oh, poor Polly, dude. Man. Poor fucking guy. What a fucking lost soul. Oh. Okay, whatever. Poor bastard. DJ, your stream coincided with the end of my fapping. Great timing. Well, you should start again. Hey 
guys. Can you, uh, you know, I know I think a lot of the younger generation hasn't really seen my YouTube videos. So if you could do me a favor and just like show my YouTube videos to the younger generation, please. So they know that, you know, I really got this whole YouTube thing started, you know? Oh my God, dude. Oh. Poor Polly, dude. It must suck. You know, I, uh, I always thought it's kind of lame because you know, my YouTube shit isn't as big as it used to be, and I was like kind of depressed. Like, man, I never got as big as I wanted to be, and I'm already on the decline and shit. And now I see that, you know, it could have been worse. I could have been super fucking famous for like ten minutes in the '90s and then never gotten over it. So. The only thing I saw that had Shore in it was a goofy movie. It's a pretty decent movie, honestly. That's some good songs. I like that On the Open Road song. Yeah, we saw Polly Shore's Joe Rogan uh, experience appearance. We didn't use it because we've had trouble with that in the past. Encino Man was a pretty good flick in my opinion. I don't really remember it. Um, I, I kind of remember it being alright, so maybe it was. EJ, what if Polly Shore releases a video response to DFF? Well, then exactly three people will see it, so... <laughs> there we go. Polly Shore has Brett Keen syndrome, trying to recapture that brief shining stardom that's never coming back. Well, it's way worse for Polly Shore because he was actually famous, not just YouTube kind of famous. What movie should you watch? You shouldn't watch any movie. You should watch my stream. But you should watch, bitch. But if you don't want to watch my stream, then, um... I don't know. Are you in the mood to watch something good or something bad? Do you want to watch an actual good movie, or do you want to watch a piece of shit that you can make fun of? EJ, you fucking cunt. You may become an atheist. Now I'm an outcast. That's not my fault. Or my problem. It sounds like snuff porn music. I guess you would know, huh? I did not even watch the solo trailer, so I don't know. Well, I don't remember. I haven't seen the guy who uh, wanted a movie recommendation answer my question as to whether you wanted a good movie or a bad movie. Um, so I'm just going to assume he wants a bad one. Watch um, Saturn 3 from 1980. Two lovers stationed at a remote base in the asteroid fields of Saturn are intruded upon by a retentive technocrat from Earth and his charge, a malevolent eight-foot robot. It's, uh, it's something. Give it a shot.
what's the background music? It's just some royalty-free shit that's on YouTube. It's part of a playlist uh, called... Um, it's from a channel called Royal the Free Royalty Archive, and it's in their horror playlist. I just play the whole playlist sometimes when I do this. What if Polly Shore is actually Rob Schneider in disguise? Um, it's possible because I couldn't find any pictures of them both together, so would be the case. I've seen the Star Wars Holiday Special before. Yeah, I've seen Howard the Duck. I actually used to watch that as a kid somewhat often. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Your documentary was pretty shit. I never did a doc- that's not my documentary. I'm just the subject of the documentary. You can blame Cody Weber for any complaints you have about the quality of it. He conducted the interviews, he shot it, he directed it, you know, he edited it. He edit, I mean, like, there, I wanted to do my own cut of that documentary because there's a lot of shit that he left out because he was less interested in, you know, actually putting together a coherent narrative than he was showing off how good of a fucking cinematographer he could be. I think the, I think it had the wrong focus. I like your return to form on your latest video. I don't think I ever left form. I just tried different styles. But, um... The, uh... The strange thing about that video is it actually came to me in a dream. The whole thing. <laughs> like, the entire... Every joke. All of it. Just came to me while I was dreaming, and then I woke up and made it. It's the weirdest experience. I've never done a video like that before. I've never had an idea for a video in a dream that I can recall. Uh, did I ever see the AVGN movie? No, I didn't. Never really felt very inclined to, for some reason. Yeah, I've had some lucid dreams. In Mendham has been responding to my stuff on Peterson. Who cares? <laughs> Not paying attention to that guy. If I ever visit the cancer that is the trending tab, uh, occasionally and 100% of the time, it's a depressing experience. I just don't understand what people like, and I don't care to. <laughs> I'm fine being on the fringes <laughs> where I belong. I wish I had mainstream appeal so I could make more money, but I don't think I could be that insipid. Sorry. Prager's newest video? No. I don't 
tend to recreationally watch Prager. Hate the Jordan Peterson fan base. I can't claim to hate them all, but I hate the ones who leave super vague comments that lack any specificity on my videos. Looking at Polly Shore's YouTube, YouTube channel is depressing. Tell me about it. Dude, I had a headache after doing the research for that video. Like, I felt bad. Like, he is a sadness train, and I got run over. Wait, so you had a dream about getting head from a Muslim extremist? No. I had a dream about doing everything I did in that video. So I had a dream about pantomiming getting head from a Muslim extremist, and then I did it. Too much edge. No, there's never too much edge. Funny or die couldn't help him at all. Well, sure it did. He just died. <laughs> he couldn't funny, so he died. Holly Shore seemed funnier back in the 90s for some reason. Maybe it's because he hadn't run his shtick into the fucking ground back then. You know, maybe it was like, okay, that was funny then, but then he never changed it and just ran it into the fucking ground to the point where... I just don't think he had anything else, you know? Once that was gone for him, once that had run its course, there was just nothing left, and he's like, oh, shit. <clears throat> Humor is hard. But there's no excuse for being as unfunny as Adam Sandler, especially when you've been a comedian for as many years as he has. I mean, there's literally, I don't, I, I would pick any fucking person I know in my day-to-day -day life. I would say, all right, go out there and be funny. And I think any one of them could do a better job than fucking uh, Pauly Shore. Yeah, he's a one-trick pony, and his trick is not even that great. <clears throat> Your new video felt like a video that you would release five or six years ago. Um, I didn't consciously set out to do that, but um, I can see the comparison. <clears throat> it's a style that I haven't really done for a while now. But, uh, you know, it's fun. I don't know if I'm going to go back to doing stuff like that all the time. I tend to just make what I want. Whatever interests me at the time, I'll do. It was fun. Favorite cereal is probably peanut butter crunch. I like to pretend that they're little fetus balls. It's kind of the same color as fetus. And the little peanut butter fetus, fetus chunks. Chinos or something. You didn't even know who Polly Shore was? Well, I'm sorry that I had to introduce you to that. Watching about five minutes of Polly Shore's stand up made me want to eat my brain. I'm surprised you had one left after watching five minutes of his stand up. TJ, do you think Ray Ayanami is hot? Um, see, that's a trick question because she's drawn hot, but at the same time, she's also canonically 14. So, you know, uh, I would say, you know, uh, an, an aged up to the age of legal consenting age, Ray Ayanami is hot. But, you know, it, you know, it's from Japan, so. 
pedophilia is basically the national pastime in that country. Which is weird, because it's all old people, you know? Am I Satan? Yes. Um... Yeah, I think so. Who is Polly Shore? Uh, go watch the latest DFF and you'll find out. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is obviously the superior cereal. Yeah, you know. I don't know. It was at one time, maybe, but they changed it and it's not as good anymore. I also like Count Chocula. Count Chocula is pretty good. It honestly puzzles me how Polly Shore can't figure out how to be funny after all these years. Well, the weirder thing is just, no matter how deeply you delve into his catalog, it's like he's never even fucking accidentally funny. It's like, how do you even pull this off? Where's the fucking, where's the comedy, dude? Like, even accidentally you should have said something funny by now. <laughs> just, I can't even believe it. Honeycomb Cereal Master Race. You know what? Uh, I can't get with that because every once in a while you bite into that fucked up honeycomb that's like too crunchy. Like it was... <laughs> something happened to it and it got fucked up. And then occasionally you get the burnt honeycomb and that's no good. Background noise is overwhelming. No. Go fuck yourself. It's fine. It's fine how it is. If you don't like it, leave. Leave. Leave, fool. I care not for your trifling opinions. Even I'm funnier than Polly Shore. I, I would put any single one of you in here against Polly Shore. I would put the guy who just obsessively types racial epithets over and over again against Polly Shore in a comedy routine. Because by like the 600th time he says nigger, I'm going to lose my shit and, and start laughing. But Polly Shore is never going to make me laugh. Never. Never. Wow. Edge. Hmm. Booberry? Never cared for Booberry. Never cared for Frankenberry. Count Chocula is the only one that I cared about. Do you know what fucking time it is? Well, here it's 3.25 a.m., I guess. Um... Did you know that FaZe Banks is a fan of yours? He liked a couple of your videos and I even saw he commented on one of your the Rush Limbaugh videos you did a while back. I don't know who that is. Ohio is shit, that's true. What are my thoughts on drinking water? I don't have any. Why are you so snobbish? No, I was. Probably just because I'm better than everybody, I guess. I don't know. Probably what it is. Beta Gamma Chi J. Yeah, dude. Oh, dude. Sparklies. Black sparkles. Goth sparkles. You don't know phase. I love you. Okay. 
A gamer that has over 4 million subscribers. Okay. Good for him. That's neat. Still don't know who he is. Sorry. What was your experience with selling books on Lulu? Um, I, I remember the experience being okay. I feel like I moved on to other platforms for a reason, but I couldn't tell you what the reasons were at this point. It's been so long since I used Hulu. Uh, sorry, Lulu. TJ, what if Polly Shore donated a one million dollar super chat to one of your streams? Well, then I would be. <laughs> I'd be, uh, I don't know, I think I'd change my tune on him. I'd be like, you know what, Polly Shore is an unrecognized fucking genius, you guys. He invented MTV, for fuck's sake. How are you gonna deny that? You know? Uh, human being ever lived though so that's kind of cool um hopefully he'd donate using Streamlabs <laughs> yeah cause you know I want Google to get fucking 300,000 of that TJ for president 2020 yeah yeah okay legalize murder <laughs> I'm gonna run on for the, the legalize murder party see how many votes we can get might be fun. DJ is most important YouTuber ever. Um, it goes so far beyond that. Greatest human being of all time to ever exist. Greater than uh, Thomas Jefferson. Uh, greater than Napoleon. Greater than... Um, I don't know. Pretty much everybody. First, baby, we can fuck, but then I'm gonna eat you. Think Ohio will ever get legal weed? They had a chance, and they failed. You take a bold stance against murder? Well, you and I are enemies now, skeptical Jesus. Because... Frollo? Well, you know, Frollo's uh, fiction. No man can be as great as Fult Frollo, you know. Not even me. But luckily, he's consigned to the realm of the imaginary, so. As far as TJ is concerned, as soon as he dies, the world ends with him. I mean, does, isn't that everyone's perspective? I mean, once you die, the world does end for you. There's no more world you can't experience anymore, so. As the greatest man that ever lived, you deserve this $5. I deserve way more than that $5, but it's a good start. Love your content, man. Keep it real. No, I'm going to keep it fake. Show us segmento fag PT. Nah, I'm bored. Bored with that. Too much work. PJ does not care. Uh, what's my favorite thing about the babies that you have been in the past few years and you got a lot going on? What the fuck are you rambling about, dude? The babies I've been? What? Better start making sense real soon.
Yeah, but I meant literally like one one you die, the Earth's core will explode. Cool. My thoughts on vampires? I don't know. They're cool. I was promised a return to butts. What the hell is this? True butts come from within, sir. True butts come from within. When will TJ ascend to godhood? Fuck you, asshole. There's a butt. You just have to donate five dollars or most other amounts to uh, Streamlabs and butts will appear. So there's a magical way that that can happen for you. Is there any self-publishing site you would suggest other than Lulu? Finally finished my book and would like to use something at least mildly reliable. I mean, Lulu is a good place to start. I mean, they got a whole store and everything, so you don't have to worry about any of that shit. Thoughts on dads? Um, most people I know, they think that um, their their relationship with their dad is, is somehow fucked up, you know? I think it's really just hard to be a, a good father. What do you write them down and then you pick up the money for your mom? Trump is going up there and I don't have any. All right. You're going in timeout, buddy. It's your last bit of nonsense. Actually, I just banned you. It was easier. I saw the ban option before I saw the, uh, the timeout option. So I figured, what the fuck? TJ, may I have your poop? No. TJ, what is the best ice cream? Um, I don't know. I usually just drink shakes. Ice cream is uh, is more work. I like I like just being able to suck something through a straw. It's way easier. I have to conserve my energy for the uh, the camera, dude. Not here, obviously. Not this low energy shit, but you know. Paul's ego is hiding his kids from Brett Keen. That's true. That's true. Well, you know, he knows the manatee hungers for child flesh, so he didn't want his kids getting eaten. Who can blame him? Execute the dissidents. Good, yeah. Ask that guy for forgiveness, you fat has been. <laughs> Who are you? Brony icon motherfucker. You know that milk has pus in it, right? Yeah. A lot of it does. By the way, that Bill Nelson versus Rick Scott Senate race is official as of yesterday. I don't, okay. This is my favorite of your channels. That's sad. <clears throat> Got any weird fetishes, T-Joy? I guess that depends on your definition of weird. TJ is trying to silence his audience. Yeah. Well, not all of them. Just that guy, because he kept reading stupid shit. Stop reading my dumb comments. Oh, sorry, comments. No, I'll read whatever I want. Does Brett Keen have autism? I wouldn't want... No, he's not... You know, most people, even if they're autistic, autistic people are annoying shits who don't understand nuance, who don't understand subtlety, who are overly pedantic and uh, take things way too literally, but they're, for the most part, smarter than Brett Keen. So um, I think that, uh, I think it's unfair to saddle them with that piece of shit. You look like Hitler with that inverted effect. Yeah, I know. Unless I go like this. Yeah, I can't seem to escape the Hitler stash now. That's kind of neat.
my chat isn't showing up. Yeah, it is. I'm looking right at it. Your recent video was an excellent return to form, TJ. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop feeling like that's a backhanded compliment and just accept it for what it is. TJ, tell us a joke. Um, so... How old are you, Wolfie of Honor? I need to know how old you are for this joke to work. Uh, what's the- what's this music in the background? Um, I've already answered that. I feel like Brett is the type of person to say I could care less. He'd probably fuck it up worse than that. <laughs> He'd figure out some way to take it to the next level of, of fucking it up. Twenty-three, go ahead. Okay, so here's the joke. Twenty-three years and nine months ago, your parents fucked, and nine months later, the joke was born. Amazing Atheist asks viewers for their age. Yeah? <laughs> He's too old for me. Too old. Twenty-three? Ugh. Um... I can't find live DFF patron episodes. Where should I direct questions? I don't I don't know what that means. I already told the damn joke. Shut up. You want another joke? I can tell you another joke. Guy goes to hell, right? And uh the devil tells him, you know, you can choose your eternal torment, all right? So, <clears throat> takes him to the first room, and there's a man being chained to the wall, and he's getting fucking whipped by demons, you know? They're just whoosh, 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 you know? And the guy's like, nah, not this one. Let's see what the next room has. Satan takes him to the next room, you know? And there's a guy in that room chained to the wall, and he's getting fucking stabbed with hot pokers and shit just all over his skin, just burning him, and he's screaming in agony and everything. He's like, you know, nah, nah, nah. I don't want this one either. Satan's like, all right, well, the next room is your last choice. And so you go to the last room, there's this fucking nasty old man chained to the wall and this hot blonde with big tits and a fat ass is just fucking sucking his dick like a pro just like the most amazing fucking blowjob you've ever seen and the guy's like oh yeah yeah I'm gonna take this one for sure the devil's like okay and so uh the devil walks up to the blonde and taps her on the shoulder and says you can go, honey. You've been relieved. But um, there's my there's my joke for the day. <clears throat> TJ do an Inquisition. Um, okay. TJ, this story is too weird for me. No, it's not. I don't think that's true. I don't think you could possibly. <laughs> get with anything I do or say if that story is too weird for you. You wouldn't have made it this far. Please don't tell any more jokes, all right? I won't. What do you think about the recent WrestleMania? I don't know, I didn't see it. Execute order 66. What do I have to do? How fast can you type? I don't know.
Why can't North Americans understand how to drive in roundabouts? I mean, some cities in America have roundabouts. But they're kind of dumb. We don't really like them. I never seem to catch any of these live. Is it God's will? Maybe. Stop my porn to watch this. Still jerking. Huh. Okay. How much do you hate Paul? Um, I don't really hate Paul at all. Actually, Mythbusters found that roundabouts were more efficient than signalized intersections. I never said otherwise. I just said we don't like them and they suck. Never said they were less efficient. Favorite Simpsons seasons? Um, you know, three through nine or so. Do I have a Discord server? I think I do. I don't ever go there. Moar jokes. No. As uh, that one dumb bitch, Sarah, said I wasn't allowed to do anymore. You know, I gotta listen to her because she knows what's what. Least favorite animal, uh, humans, obviously. DJ, have you watched Naked Ape? He's really annoying. He was been on. He's been on the Drunken Peasants before. What computer do you have? I honestly don't know what the fuck this thing is. Nukes solve everything in my experience. Okay. I don't know what experience you have that involves nukes, but good for you. I miss low effort ideology. What do you think this is? Like I'm trying really hard right now. <laughs> what do you think is the worst DFF episode so far? Oh, let me check. I don't know. Let me go to the channel. Um, YouTube.com DFF. Okay, deep fat fried. So oh, videos. Let's see. What's the worst episode? Um, um, I think that probably for me, the worst ones, um, I think the ones I had, at least that I had the least fun doing, I didn't think the Star Trek episode turned out particularly well. And I don't think the Super Bowl commercials turned out particularly well either. Um, so probably those are the two that I dislike. Uh, the rest I'm pretty proud of. Um, I think the episode on women is massively underrated. That's probably among my favorites. Uh top 10 movie villains I really like um, and really still I mean I, I think the cigarettes and Steven Seagal I really like that one um, and uh, those are probably my favorites so far so but you know me and the fans don't necessarily agree Yeah, I mean, like, if you like the Super Bowl commercial episode, that's fine. I just didn't really care for it.
The flash fried about the YouTube shooting was really good. Yeah, that was a pretty enjoyable one. I still think my favorite flash fried is the first one we did. But, um, yeah, I thought the, uh, of the three we've done, probably, I don't know, I enjoyed all those. I haven't hated one of those yet. I'm sure we'll get to one I don't, I don't care for. Women are technically inferior to men on every comparable metric. That's not true. There's lots of ways that women are better. They're f more fun to spank. So that's one way. Generally better at making sandwiches. Um, you know, there's a lot of things. A lot of things they got on men. TJ, what is your favorite animal? Dogs. You guys thought this was a, uh, a live stream, but actually, no. It's a Tide ad! With the fucking guy from Stranger Things, weirdly enough. Okay. I, didn't, I never liked Metalocalypse. I don't know why. There is a house in New Orleans, and it's called the Rising Sun. TJ, please keep the fried egg intro for Flash Fried. What? No. Season 3 of Stranger Things is a tied ad. That's what it was all building to. Now, Lens. Do you think I am a good person, TJ? I really don't give a shit if you are or not. What's it to me? See why I should give a fuck one way or the other. Person. There's no one in here to stop me from smoking inside, so... Might as well. Fuck everybody. They're trying to control me. The only problem is I don't really have anywhere to ash in here. Mothers, tell your children not to do what I have done. How many times have you blown a load in a row? Um, I don't know, probably like three. Not some, there's no, I don't know. That's probably about as much as I could do. Smoking is bad for your health, TJ. It's good for my mental health. Why are you streaming, TJ? Why are you watching Salen Mac? Why do you exist? Why do you matter? TJ, when the authoritarian leftist takes over USA, what are you going to do? Emigrate? Fight? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really see that happening anytime soon.
How many do you smoke a day? I don't know. I don't keep fucking some strict count. Too many. You didn't donate. Don't try to trick me with your clever ruse, sir. Not deceive me. I am too perceptive. <laughs> Right has always stood for what's right. Okay. Good times. Ah. My Honda Fit? I haven't had that car in fucking ages. High CPU usage detected. Why? Shouldn't be high CPU usage. Oh, what I could close. I guess I could close this. Really not much running. Fuck you. Piece of shit. Do like Princess Diana after the car crash. That was some hot shit, you know. Looked pretty good. Most underrated Batman villain is Croc. What about Clayface, dude? He has the ability to shape shift. I'm actually making a sequel to the top 10 weirdest Bible verses, so. Interesting you would say that. I actually have had the, the next list of the top 10 next weirdest Bible verses. I just never made it, but I decided I'm gonna go ahead and do it. What drugs have you tried? Um, your mom's pussy is a good drug. Tastes delicious. Um, no. Um, weed, acid, shrooms, clonopin. Um, I like benzos. Different sorts of benzos are good. Um, fuck. I don't know. That's pretty much it. There's been a few others, but I can't remember what the fuck they were. A lot of pills. What movie should I watch, TJ? Um, I don't know. I recommended Saturn 3 to a gentleman earlier. Perhaps you too would enjoy Saturn 3. Ever hear of Batman Beyond? Yes. Pretty good. Not bad. Best fast food restaurant. Um, I don't know. I don't know what those hand signals. Is that like some um, Freemasonic shit that I'm supposed to get? <laughs> Have you ever read Transmetropolitan? Yes, I have. Read the entire series. I think I have the trade paperback somewhere. I 
Hunter S. Thompson shot himself on my birthday. That was pretty neat. I am not funny and I'm unoriginal. Okay. So, uh, Polly Shore has joined us. That's cool. What's been on your mind as of late, TJ? Uh, I don't know. Same things as usual. My hatred for the human race. Giant butts. Big dicks. Um, and then some more hatred. Saturn 3 has a rating of 18% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's pretty generous. It's enjoyable. It's enjoyably bad. I'll say that for it. Um, TJ, have you had worse milkshake than the Lucky Charm shake? No. That's definitely the worst shake ever concocted. At least, you know, without the intent of it being disgusting. Why did you move your video set to a tiny room? I actually have use of a much larger room. It's actually just one little corner of a much larger room. Um, but uh, I thought it might be cool to have walls on both sides of me. It almost feels like I'm in a, like a cell or a padded room or something. Yeah, okay, high CPU usage detected, that's great. I don't know why. Fuck off, I don't care. Deal with that later. Is Nietzsche's eternal recurrence a literal cosmological explanation of time or just a thought experiment? I've always thought of it as just a thought experiment, but I've heard people argue that he actually believed it. So, I don't know. Um, I don't think he did. I think he was just conducting a thought experiment. I think it was just a way of urging people to um, live their life to the fullest. Because if you live a shitty life, then basically your afterlife is going to be hell, as you have to live your exact same life over and over again. Would you buy a used toaster if it had old crumbs in it? Probably not. Impetus to do that. EJ covered it up. Oh, I never read, uh... Sorry, I never, I never watched. I tried to watch Devil Man, but I, I didn't think it was very interesting. Got bored with it pretty quick. Did you delete your history after the last DFF? Your YouTube recommendations must be awful. My my YouTube recommendations are already awful, just based on all the fucking total dog shit that I watch, mostly for the show. Yeah, now it's recommending all sorts of Polly Shore shit to me. That's no good. But oh, what you gonna do? How do you deal with a toxic fan base? I don't know. They don't seem that toxic. I've definitely seen worse. I always liked Super Nintendo better than Sega Genesis. Imagine Polly Shore's eternal recurrence. Well, that is crazy. Do 
you edit your own videos? Yes. Not that I really feel like I have any sort of tremendous skill as an editor. But, um, yeah, I do. I tend to edit pretty lazily. You know, if something's difficult, I'll just say, yeah, it wasn't worth it. You know, just got to convince myself it wasn't, the, the joke's not worth it or whatever. Can we just admit memes now aren't funny? Can we just admit they never were? Go that far? Just admit that memes have never been funny? TJ, what do you think about JF and the traction he's been gaining as a proponent of the alt-right? Um, you know, I'd never begrudge someone... I'm sorry, I gotta just stare at those tits while they're on the screen. Then I'll answer your question. Okay. I would never begrudge someone their um, popularity, I guess. You know, he found something that worked for him. So that's great. Um, but, uh, you know, obviously it's not really my thing. But good on, good on him. I'm glad he found his little niche. Oops. I don't care about the fucking high CPU usage, you piece of shit. Fuck off. Suck my fucking dick with your fucking high usage nonsense. What more can I fucking do? Let's see what the fuck this high usage shit is all about. at the fucking task manager. All right. I don't see shit. Nothing. Probably just my fucking hard drive is full again. How many fucking gigs are free? No, it's a pretty reasonable amount. Not even in the red yet. Fuck. I don't know. It's being a piece of shit. Maybe it's because I'm doing this stupid chroma key bullshit. Yeah, I'm aware of the Hitler mustache effect that this filter has. I'm I'm okay with it. I don't save porn. I don't really understand why people do. It's like, if I've jerked off to something before, I'm never going to jerk off to it again. So. <laughs> I don't really see what the point is. And if I, by some chance, I do want to jerk off to it again, I'll just go look for it again. Fuck you, asshole. What did you think of the end of Evangelion? Um, I liked it. I thought it was a nice little uh, mind trip. It explained what instrumentality was a little bit more clearly without revealing too much, so the mystery remained. save the most perfect pog asses you find. Well, send some to me on my Twitter or something then. That sounds pretty good. 
We need to know about your sandwich preferences. I don't really like sandwiches that much. But if I'm going to eat a sandwich, it's going to be like a, a meatball fucking po' boy or sub or some shit. PJ, you're probably a really bad influence. Uh, okay. Why? what I do. Fuck you. Have you ever gave in audience demands? I mean, sure. Above that. Do you think M Masato Katsuragi is hot? Oh, yeah, she was from that shit too, right? Yeah, she was pretty hot. She had big tits. You don't like meatballs? Man, yeah. well... TJ, tell us another joke. Why? Are you so fucking obsessed with jokes? I don't even really like jokes. <laughs> but I end up telling them all the time on here because people keep asking for them. I don't even have a great delivery on that shit. I don't even know if I fucking... I think I've told every joke I fucking even remember to you fucking pieces of shit, so... Streamlab didn't show up. All right. Guess I'll go look it up. Hope it doesn't affect the CPU usage. There's two people saying their Streamlabs didn't work now. Did I click it off? No, still going. Okay. Weird stuff. All right, let's just go look and see what's going on. Uh, so, uh, Doom Kid raises a good point. You need to bring back butts of the day. Most of the best butts that I can find, I can't even show on YouTube because you can see vag and shit, or you could see asshole, and then YouTube's like, eh, well, we don't like it. Eh. Um, and then Doom Kid said, I've been a fan for years, TJ, but that high CPU usage was the thing that pushed me over the edge. You've lost your touch. I remember back when your CPU usage used to be efficient. Wow. Brutal. Brutal. Thanks for the money. And let's see. Uh, one of you guys wanted the 669 thing, which is the girl with the tits. So I'm going to go ahead and oblige these people. One of them wanted Satan and one of them wanted the tits girl. So let's let's give the, the fucking people what they want, man. So here's uh, the tits girl. Yeah. And here is the devil in one second. All right. All right. Okay. There we go. Hi, CPU uses detected. You may experience performance issues. Shut up. How many times do you think you have to fucking tell me the same fucking goddamn thing? No one used Streamlabs until you did. Well, Streamlabs needs to get its shit together. Because, you know, I'm noticing more and more that people's shit doesn't go through. Then I have to go check it fucking manually and shit. And it's like, okay. Fuck you, Streamlabs. It's fucking work. It's not that hard. Do 
what you're supposed to fucking do, you retarded piece of shit. I love how she is just known as Tits Girl. Who cares about her beyond that? Ain't like she's fucking in here spitting some great insight into life or something. She's just a girl with big tits. Bounces around. DJ, have you ever rode a skateboard? You look like you could do a mean kickflip. <laughs> no. Hey, TJ, I'm about to hop on the treadmill. Thanks in advance for keeping me entertained while I'm dying on it. Oh, shit. All right. Best of luck. You seen Wild Wild Country? No. I love how Brett is classified as the most horrible person in your mind whenever you need a template to contrast it to whatever horrible thing you're watching at any given time. I uh, yeah. I mean, he pretty much is to me. I can't think of anyone worse throughout history. Like, at least, you know, I mean, like, even if you talk about some depraved serial killing motherfucker, at least they're interesting. Um, TJ looks like he'd ride Razor scooters. Okay. <laughs> Mom tases son for Jesus. I don't know what happened to Mannix the Pirate. I hear he's still kicking around somewhere. What's up, dog? What? What's your favorite microwavable junk food? Um, I don't know. I don't eat a lot of that kind of shit. I don't really eat too much that goes in the microwave. Usually, I just use microwaves for reheating, and even then, sparingly, so... I don't like popcorn. DJ, why are you an atheist? Butts are the one true God. No, they're just butts. Is Assange a hero? Um, I don't know if he's a hero, but useful. Stop. Fuck off, you piece of shit. Go burn in fucking hell where you belong. I'm gonna turn off this fucking chroma key effect and maybe... I'll fucking... stop with this high CPU usage nonsense. Do you smoke any cigarettes besides American Spirits? I mean, if I have to bum a cigarette from somebody else, I guess. Ugh. TJ, are you a middle-aged man yet? Um... I'm 33, so if I live to be 66, then this is middle age. But you don't really know what middle age is until you die, so.
Whoa, the cycles of the moon. That's pretty cool. I really liked the light green American spirits. What, these? Winston's tastes good like a cigarette should. I just realized my music is dead. Oh, well. So is my weird little visual bullshit. So, whatever. I ain't fucking with getting it back. <clears throat> How's Chelsea doing? She's fine. She's sleeping. Gotta go to work. Early. Pretty soon, really. I think she's gotta get up at 7. So that's like less than three hours from now. Probably put my phone on the charger. I'll be right back. All hail chair. Run a train on Sarah. Dude, it's probably like a fucking 48 year old fat neck beard runs that Sarah account, so I wouldn't get too attached to her. Her. Kill me. Um, which we could. Why are movies so bad these days? I don't know. Too designed by committee, maybe? What is the truth, Sarah? The truth is that her real name is uh, Martin. She's a scrawny, zit face, pockmarked man <laughs> in a dank fucking bedroom listening to his mom snore down the hall. He started smoking weed in 2011, 2012, right? I don't know. I don't remember when I started smoking weed. No one worships me. I'm brony trash. Cool. I'm actually not, but okay. Hmm, sure. Winston's tastes good like a... Uh cigarette should I don't remember when I started smoking weed yeah I don't <laughs> the 
joke there that weed affected my memory because I could tell you my memory has always been dog shit. Just not a very past minded person. DJ, if you like Nietzsche, you should read The History of Sexuality by Michel Foucault. Uh, it can be used to criticize Jordan Peterson's thoughts. It's the founding documents of postmodernism. Okay. It's time for me to sleep. I'm tired. Go ahead and sleep then, pussy. I understand the suspicion, but can you just not assume one way or the other? Shut up, Martin. No one cares what you have to say. What MMO you liked the most, TJ? I don't play that shit. I don't really play many games. I'm a very, 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 very casual gamer. So much so that I don't even want to fucking call myself a gamer. Quit calling, quit calling him Sarah. His name is Martin. We figured it out. We solved the code. Don't, don't, you know, don't maintain the pretense any longer. I play Tetris occasionally, but have you taken the Briggs, the Myers Briggs personality test? Yeah, I've taken it. Super Nintendo. You rock, TJ. Catch you later. I'll just upload a brief video of myself. Damn. Well, on the off chance that you actually are a girl, be sure to flop your tits about. Do a DFF on Family Guy. Um, maybe. Is it true you can't trust the cat around the soundboard? It's true you can't trust the cat, period. CGI bullshit. I'm kind of a girl. Awesome. I don't know if I could not be a gamer. You can. Anybody can. <laughs> They're, they're, you know, it's just, it's not hard. You just don't play them and you don't give a shit about them. And it's actually way easier than being a gamer. Big daddy dongle in the house. All right. Uh. Oh. Can Star Wars be saved at this point? Sure. Warhammer 40k? Get out of here. I don't want to play that shit. Can you be a wrench? <laughs> you want to be a mod, huh? Say no. Hey guys, I just woke up. What's up? Nothing's up. Who's more toxic, Peterson fans or Shapiro fans? Uh, Peterson fans. 
Never even seen a Shapiro fan in the wild. I'm not even really sure they exist. Go back to sleep. Time to rest. Imagine women with gigantic breasts. Never seem to get good dreams like that. Oh, sometimes I'll just go to bed and be like, all right, how about I just dream of like really big fucking tits and asses and stuff tonight? And I close my eyes and it's like the demons start fucking dancing around and shit. I'm like, all right, demons are cool and all, but could a motherfucker just get some tits and ass every now and then? Weird stuff. Got invited to join the Freemasons. That was pretty weird. Oh. Weed prevents dreams. It doesn't prevent dreams for me. I have dreams just fine. I just can't have the dreams I want. <laughs> it's like, all right, so tonight we're going to dream about a big fucking juicy ass just fucking being rubbed in my face. And me just tongue fucking that asshole. All right, that's what we're going to dream tonight. So we're agreed. Let's do it. And I fucking close my eyes and I'm going to fucking skyscraper that's fucking upside down suspended from a fucking cloud and it's on fire and there's fucking archangels with dildos and some ridiculous nonsense it's like ah no 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 big juicy ass that's all i want quit haunting me pieces of shit Yeah, my Brett Keen dream. Goddamn stupid brain torturing me. Just prove my brain is an asshole. Proof that my brain is an asshole. Proof that my brain is a piece of shit. I'd rather have sex with Nicki Minaj or Beyonce. Nicki Minaj, dude. Beyonce is prettier, but I just can't deny the power of Nicki Minaj's big fake ass. I just want it bouncing around on me, that's all. Red Bull again. Yep. My last one, I swear. Last one for the night or the morning. Here it is. Need a map to navigate that cake. Hell yeah, dude. I don't even need to navigate it. I'm just happy to get lost in it. Do you think Milo Yiannopoulos spites you for what happened to him because of his appearance on the drunken peasants that he did to himself? I don't think so. And he'd be pretty stupid to blame me. I didn't do it. You should. Oh, you have the focal. Focal. I don't. Is I don't. Is the T silent? It's French, right? Bring it over. I'll take a look at it. Fuck. I mean, you know, I guess I have to read things. It's one thing that sucks about writing a book is you have to read other people's way shittier books. It's like, you know, it's not like anyone's going to say anything that I find profound. Hey, TJ, I recently started watching TNG. Recommend any episodes to skip straight to? Um, 
That's another Streamlabs. Maybe it'll come through. Let's see if it'll come through. I guess it's not going to. Uh, I don't think you should skip around. I'd say just if you're watching it for the first time, just watch it through. There's going to be some rough patches. I won't lie to you. What naughty homosexual film should I watch to calm myself to sleep? Are you asking for a porn recommendation? <laughs> or are you just asking for a film that tells the story of some homosexuals? I don't even know what you want. Buko. Okay, cool. Fuko, Fuko. They're called audiobooks, TJ, since you hate reading shitty books. Yeah, but then I have to listen to someone read it real fucking slow. And even if you speed it up, you know, it still just takes way too long. It's just faster to read it myself. But whatever. Don't really care for books that much. I don't really care for movies that much. I don't really care for any of the creations of man that much anymore. I just think we're just such a stupid, wasted, backwards-ass species. That's why I have to come and fix everything. I'm going to write the world's first good book. Maybe I'll make the world's first good movie at some point. If you had to choose between coffee and energy drink in the morning, which, which, what would you pick? I hate coffee, so drink probably a Red Bull or three or four or five or six. If you had to choose between coffee and energy drink in the morning, what would you pick? Uh, I already answered that. Why is the chat moving so slow? Did everyone die? Is everyone gone? How many people are still watching this shit? 164? Alright. I guess that's enough to keep doing it. I want a naughty homosexual film recommendation, but Super Chat won't let me say porn. Okay. Um, I don't know. I mean... I've never watched an entire porn movie, so, and usually I prefer pictures to videos and shit, so, I don't like the noises people make, and watching it on mute also feels weird, but the closest I get to watching videos is like an animated gif or something, but whatever, I prefer drawings anyway. Pornhub.com. I mean, just... Why do you need a recommendation from me? Just go fucking search. Go search a gay porn site and just be like, Big Dicks, or whatever the fuck you want. Like, is there some magical kinship and like, I'm jerking off to something TJ jerked off to. If you want to jerk off to something gay that I like, just go to Reddit dot com forward slash r forward slash massive cox and then go look at big dicks and be like wow that's cool i like big dicks and then jerk off your little dick while you look at big dicks and feel kind of weird about it like man i wish my dick was that big but it ain't oh well i can still masturbate to it I'm glad someone's got a dick that big. <clears throat> How can you like drawings done by man? Well, hentai is one of the things we got right. So good on us for that. But uh, most of the other things we've created suck. Fudanari is pretty cool. What a whimsical world they've created. You're strange, TJ. It's the wrong form of your, sir. And how can someone calling themselves Salvador Dali think I'm strange? It's 
Salvador Dali was considerably stranger than even me. Do you imagine it being inserted into you or you jerk off to the idea of it big, man? Both. I like looking at big dicks because it makes me feel multiple things at the same time. Like on one level, I'm like, I feel like inferior because my dick's so small and theirs is so fucking large and there's just like this dichotomy there of like, wow. That dick is so huge, and my dick is so much smaller, and I feel so fucking inferior, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, I want it inside me, but at the same time, I want to have that dick so that I can fuck little inferior beta bitches like me. So, yeah, there's all there's like an emotional cocktail to looking at big dicks. But, you know, it's fun. It's a good time. I think the best porn works on on multiple levels of of the psyche. Battle of the Butts, sex with Nicki Minaj or Kim Kardashian. Oh man, I'm gonna go with Kardashian on that. Her butt's not quite as big as Nicki Minaj's, but she's less ugly overall. And also, you know, afterwards I can like strangle her with some piano wire. And uh, do the country a favor. So that's pretty cool. Uh, my friends think I'm weird for preferring pictures over video, but whatever. There aren't really any amazing videos. Who cares? Like, Why do your friends have a say in what you're jerking off to? Halfway to my 5K run in pure pain, but you're helping me ignore it, TJ. Keep it up. Oh, that, that dude's still on the treadmill, dude. Damn. Well, I'm glad it's helping. Uh, Salvador Cucky. Ha <laughs> ha. So funny. Asians. Damn Asians. Always hated them. Damn Asians, dude. You like theater, TJ? I don't think I've been really to the theater. I was hazed today. Did they beat your ass with a paddle? That's the sexy part. Just remember to thank Dusty for inventing facials. Oh, I do. I've, I've written him several times. Let him know. Dusty, just jerked off to some facials, dude. Thanks for inventing that, brah. Culture is not your friend, T. McKenna. There's a quote I like. I need to read whoever that guy is. He seems to know what's what. I came, I came to that conclusion a while back. Facial king. Dusty. I saw Dusty on Twitter today freaking out because he had the hiccups, I guess, for the first time in his life. It was kind of weird. I read the tweet in his voice. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> How come all these people need to feel like they invented something? I don't know.
dude, how many fucking goddamn times are you going to recommend the same fucking book? I got it. Huko, fucking book, history of sexuality, 100 pages. Okay, got it. Got it. Thanks, man. Thank you for the recommendation. I have seen it. Fuckwit. Jesus fucking Christ. How many times are you going to write the same goddamn shit? I've acknowledged it literally fucking two times before this. I have seen your fucking recommendation, you piece of fucking shit. If you recommend it anymore, I'm not going to fucking read it just to spite your dumb ass. Oh, shit. Cocksucking motherfucker. Terrence McKenna said some good stuff here and there, but at the end of the day, he's just a DMT addict thinking it's a sacred drug. Well, maybe it is. Have you tried it? I unironically laughed at the first Polly Shore stand-up bit in DFF last night. All right, well, go kill yourself. <sighs> go kill yourself, sir. No, <laughs> I mean, whatever. Yeah, he sucks to me, but I'm glad you got some enjoyment out of it. I just checked that. It's 500 pages, not 100. Holy shit. That's too long. I guess I'll still try. Hey, TJ, what are your thoughts on DMT? I don't know. I've never tried it. I don't jump to conclusions like that guy a minute ago. Boobs as background. Yeah, I mean, I'm still getting the CPU usage thing, so what does it really matter? That doesn't seem right. that one that's the one I already use Not really the right size. Yeah, it just looks dumb. Bad idea, sir. Bad idea. Failed me. Eguile. Enough seeking, enough hiling. You don't need to seek that heil. You don't need to heil that seek. Seeking the heil, heiling the seek. Truffles of Atheists have been attacking my stream, TJ. That's a shame. How many waffles could you eat on a Tuesday where it's raining, but you're in a decent mood? Hmm, how hard is it raining? 
is it raining like super hard outside or is it just like a light drizzle or like what's going on and is it a thunderstorm or is it just rain I feel like feminists are trying to normalize underage self-sexualization because bootily freedom. Okay. You could explain that in more detail somewhere. I don't get what you're saying there. I got two bottles of goose. That's geese. Yeah, sure. It's storming pretty bad. Thunder, too. Uh, then... Um, Hmm. Are they Waffle House waffles or are they like a thick Belgian waffle or like what what kind of waffles are we dealing with? No, you get, I can't answer this question until all the factors are addressed. So I'm in a decent mood. The big thunderstorm outside. We just need to know the kind of waffle. And also what time of day it is. I think Waffle House waffles is fair. Belgian waffles are a bit large. Okay. So it's it's thunder, lightning, heavy rain. I'm in a decent mood. I'm eating Waffle House waffles. Am I in a Waffle House or have the waffles just been transported to me at my home? And also, what time of day is it? It's 4 p.m.? Okay. So where am I? Am I at home or am I at the Waffle House? Well, that's the Waffle House trademark. Disgusting locations, decent food. Still waiting on that answer. You're at home, but the waffles are still pretty damn warm slash appealing. Okay. And I'm just going to assume that I have the necessary, like, syrups and stuff. So... Uh, I'm going to say five and a half waffles. Under those conditions. And I'll feel pretty bad about it afterwards, but yeah. Do I like to party? No. Year up. Have you ever ordered hot cakes from McDonald's? Uh, no, I've never. I've never ordered just pancakes. I've ordered things that come with them. Like I've had the big breakfast or the deluxe breakfast or whatever the fuck it's called. That's a good number, TJ. I appreciate you putting thought into it. Unlike some other some YouTubers out there, cough. Paul's ego, cough. Paul's ego didn't fucking answer that question. What a bitch. I mean, if someone finally asks a decent question and his ass is just dismissive, just like Paul, dude. Just like Paul. Teacherson Twitter, a minor, insisted her hard nipples deserved to poke boys in the eye while claiming body shaming when teachers wanted her to cover up its viral and aimed at other minors the message. Um, why do I care about this again? Like, what's what skin do I have in this game? <laughs> 
I was a part of a cult for a month, TJ. It was a madhouse. Cool. Look it up, please. It's viral, and I want your opinion. All right, fine. What's Teacherson Twitter? Let's see what the big deal is here. Let's see teachers on Twitter. Is that what it is? I don't see anything about no nipples. Nipples. I don't see anything about this. Did you make up this shit? I don't see anything about it, dude. Should build a shrine for TJ after he dies. Why wait till then? Build it now so I can enjoy it. <laughs> build it now so I can look at my shrine and be like, oh, neat. Paul's Negro. The shrine just got 10 feet higher. Damn right. Look up Band-Aid nipples. Do I have to? All right. Band-Aid nipples. 17-year-old was told to put band-aids on her nipples after not wearing a bra to school. All right. I don't care. Band-aids on her nipples. Oh, I don't know. What, what's what's your concern with this? Why is this a fu why is this news? How is this a fucking news story? Peterson sends his regards. Okay, thanks for the two bucks. Yawn. You're gonna yawn at me, you little bitch. Fuck you, Evan Wright. Women are objects. Yeah. Do a rage. Ah, I'm so mad. Oh my god. The anger that I feel just cannot be contained. Ah. Anything's news now, dude. That's the problem. Like, why, why, why do I keep seeing news stories about shit that's just beyond irrelevant? Look at her tweets. I don't want to look at her fucking tweets. I don't care. Who gives a shit? Like, why are you paying attention to that stupid nonsense? Who gives a rat's ass? I don't even have anything interesting to say about it. How fearful are you for the future of good old America? I just, I don't care about it, so. It's not really a, you know, whatever. It's, it's, uh. I don't really care if it fucking falls into the ocean. <laughs> Top news today. Trump picked his nose and farted. Local news. Guy fell off his bike while eating a burrito. Dude, at this point, guy falling off his bike while eating a burrito is national news. Let's be real.
What makes you think you have to do something for Steve Shives to block you? You don't have to do shit. He'll just block you to block you. You don't give a fuck. What is this shit? All right, I see there's 185 watching. I'm going to go outside and smoke a cigarette. It'll take me about seven minutes, maybe slightly longer, depending. If there's still 150 or more people when I come back, then I'll do more of this. But if there's not that many, I'm going to stop. So it's up to you. Damn it. Still 160 of you. I gave you a chance to end this shit. All right, so earlier on uh, Twitter, I pointed out that we call a crazy person unhinged, but we never call a sane person just hinged, you know? No one's ever like, he's a tax attorney, he's really hinged, you know? <laughs> I I was I thought of another one was out the outside. It's like underwhelmed and overwhelmed, but no one's ever just whelmed. Is it possible to just be whelmed, or do you have to be under or over? What 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 was the state of just being whelmed to be like? Is that just like baseline? 
We just don't have a lot of words for like baseline normalcy. I've said several great things that YouTube blocked because I'm not used to not cussing in YouTube chat. You better get used to it, bitch. I'm the only one that's allowed to use profanity in this motherfucker. I'm whelmed by this stream. I don't know if that's good. See, I don't know if that's good or bad because I don't know what whelmed is, dude. I guess it's neither, right? Very whelming. I want you guys to go around and start describing things as whelmed. Just say like, I'm whelmed by this. I'm whelmed by your performance tonight, TJ. Thank you. I guess. Yeah, well. Yeah, under and overrated, yeah. I don't know. I guess things can just be rated. You just wouldn't say that. You know, that movie's rated. <laughs> no one would even know what you're talking about. They'd be like, what? What is it rated? PG? R? What? <laughs> we can't use profanity now? I've, that's literally been the case forever on here. You whelmed in your pants earlier. That's good. I'm glad that you had that happen. English is bullshit, dude. Unstability. Cool. Hashtag whelmed. Start the revolution. Back in the day when you used to bleep curses, did that actually help your monetization status? I think it, I mean, well, YouTube was really cracking down on profanity at that time. Uh, if her age is on the clock, get Shadman to draw a graphic image of what's to come. Okay. <laughs> Grand Duchy of Lithuania will rise again from the Baltics to the Black Sea. Fuck Russia. Damn. Brutal. There shan't be any profanity. Yeah, at the time, YouTube was pushing this real family-friendly thing. Like, we are a family site. It's like, no, you're not. You don't even know what the fuck you are, you stupid fucks. You're so fucking retarded. Get a vape, TJ. You get one. I have one somewhere. Family friendly, my ass. Elsa versus Spider Man versus Deadpool. Family friendly content. Yeah. Here's Spider Man shooting his web spinner up Elsa's butthole for kids. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Go ahead, then. <laughs> Good job, YouTube. You really got this this family friendly shit under control. The Fred era, yeah. Crookshanks or whatever the fuck his name was.
videos of mine got content ID striked by all kinds of companies, and they don't even tell me the goddamn reason. Great. Welcome to YouTube, man. He's got a check. Is that just part of his username? Or does he actually have some kind of check? Epri troll. I guess he is verified. Who the fuck are you? Why you got verification? I don't even have fucking verification. Go to channel. Damn, some dude with 129,054 subscribers is wasting his time in here. That's neat. <laughs> YouTube is garbage, but there is no alternative. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the fucking paradox of being a video creator. Like, you think, couldn't we just ask for one decent alternative that doesn't fold within a fucking few months? Like, yeah, vid.me, that's gonna be the, oh, never mind, it's gone. It's like, every time you're like, yeah, maybe this one's gonna be the next, okay, it's gone. And it's gone. Hey, can you guys not have a conversation amongst each other in my chat? Thanks. Does DTube ever shit the bed on you, TJ? It always errors on me when uploading. Yeah, it sucks. It, it'd be cool if their uploader worked. Like... Hmm, pretty decent video site you guys got here. Oh, wait, the uploader doesn't work. Oh, well. So much for that. So much for that. But, you know, if you can get it to work and you can actually upload something, that's pretty cool. Are you still riding the D-Tube train? I mean, as soon as they fucking get an uploader that works, I'd be happy to fucking upload my shit there. But I get tired of fucking... <laughs> it crashing like 19 times as I try to get it to fucking upload. Who the hell is pushing up roses? Hmm, all right. Well, I'm not... Whatever. Not my thing, but have fun with that. Who's that bitch with the big tits that used to talk about Japanese bullshit and no one really cared what she was talking about because all the comments were just always about her big tits? Who was that bitch? Pushing up roses means dead. No, he's talking about some YouTuber that he wants to see naked. I saw her, and she didn't really... I mean, whatever. This isn't Google. All right, fair enough. Low energy videos, yeah! Yeah, yeah, motherfucker, yeah! Yeah, Minx thing. The Minx bitch. Anna Minx. The big old titties, man. Hey, maybe you can make your own video website, lol. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. Anna Minx, she had big tits. I don't think she's still around. I ain't seen her shit in a while. Well, you just come for me then, because I ain't saying your name. Just out with that wajiki woman, whatever you spell it as, please. Yeah, fuck her. That bitch should be gone. She should be fired, like, post-haste, like, fucking months ago. Remember those European reply girls who barely spoke English? 
I am seeing Amazing Atheist video. Him am yell. I am sit and have words for you. You know, everyone hated that, but I kind of liked it. You know, and they always just had the same camera angle where the camera was just fucking. They were shot at that downward angle so you could just see the titties out. You know, and it wasn't like any of it was actually watchable, but, you know, it was, it was fun. You know, you just went on, <laughs> looked at the tits, chuckled at how inept they were at actually making videos and then leave, you know. Have you ever watched one of Jacqueline Glenn's awkward live streams that she does every night? The cringe is real. I didn't even know she was into the live stream thing. Okay, end the stream, dude. Bye. Just leave. I don't have to end because your ass is leaving. Fuck off. <clears throat> Fight the system, man. Gotta take down the YouTube oppressors, man. Please don't leave, TJ. I said I wouldn't. I said that if there was uh, still more than 150 people after my cigarette break, that I'd stay for a while, so here I am. TJ, I'm making a chicken curry tomorrow. Are you a fan? I don't really care for curries that much, honestly. Why are these streams so soothing? I don't know. You're just weird. Never leave me, TJ. Stay with me forever. Lol at Doom Kid. That is the only other YouTuber I knew that went on there. Lol. What? TJ is true to his word, just like his RV trip. Whatever, dude. Not everything goes according to plan, all right? You gotta leave. You gotta have some fucking allowance for bullshit. How do you maintain a decent sleeping schedule while doing these as often as you do? Who says, who says I have a decent sleeping schedule? What do I think about India? I don't really know much about India. I know there's some hot-ass Indian girls, man. Some of those bitches have nice, thick eyebrows, and I have kind of a fetish for thick eyebrows. So, that's kind of cool. Daily motion. What a fucking joke. Although maybe we should just go to daily motion because it seems like it's the one that stays around no matter what. Daily motion's been around forever. Ain't no one used that motherfucking site in history, and yet it's still there. So maybe that's maybe we've just been looking a gift horse in the mouth the whole fucking time. Maybe we should all just move to fucking daily motion. Oh man. TJ likes mono brows confirmed. I do, but I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about just thick eyebrows. Just like, wah, big thick ass eyebrows. Girls with thick eyebrows. See if I can find one. That's what I'm talking about. See, no one else shares my weird thick eyebrow fetish, so. Thick eyebrow hot bitch. <laughs> Man. These motherfuckers. Them ain't no thick eyebrows, goddammit. Give me that thick ass eyebrows. Who the hell's this bitch? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Next time I see one, I'll fucking save it and show it to you. Hmm. 
If you like thick eyebrows, look up Moogie from k -On. That sounds gay as shit, and I'm not doing it. Oh, yeah, nigga, 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 nigga. Full beef, trimmed or shaved. I used to have this uh, girlfriend who had kind of like a Hitler stash above her pussy. So when I ate her out, I'd call it Frenching Hitler. It's kind of fun. I like chicks with pronounced noses. What do you think about the nose situation? I could see that. It's not my thing, but I can see the appeal. Black marker eyebrows. What? What you yammering about, bitch? <laughs> Grab the river rocks, dude. Grab them river rocks. We got an active shooter situation. Oh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. oh my. Why are there people watching this? God damn it. This is not even a thing. Go away. 190 fucking people. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Get out of here. Go find something better to do. There's got to be something better going on than this shit. Let me sleep. Stop paying attention to me so I can just go away and die. Uh, explain the reasons why business owners would leave profits in the business rather than withdrawing them for personal use. Use some examples to support your explanation. What is this? Are you trying to get me to do your homework for you or something? Wheelchair bound girls, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. I gotta go, man. I can't do this no more. We're just bored like you. I understand. That's why we do this. We just hang out and be bored as fuck together. But, you know, at least we bond over it. We're growing. You will not stop the stream. I have to. I have to do it, man. You're not the main source of entertainment. What? Well, what is? The fucking red wall in the background? The insipid garbage in the chat? Just like staring at the microphone. Fuck is your problem, bitch. Come fight me. Amazing. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound. Oh yeah, you stupid bitch. This is getting depressing. Nothing to talk about. Yeah. The genocide in Yemen. Eh. That's that's the cue, man. You. It's done. Done.